The World Chess Championship 2016 was a chess match between reigning world champion Magnus Carlsen and challenger Sergei Karakin to determine the world chess champion. Carlsen has been world champion since 2013, while Karakin qualified as challenger by winning the 2016 Candidates Tournament. The best of 12 match, organized by FIDE and its commercial partner Agon, was played in New York City between 10 and 30 November 2016. The match opened with seven consecutive draws before Karakin won the eighth game. Carlsen evened the score by winning the tenth game. All other games were drawn, leaving the match at a 6–6 tie, so tie breaks decided the match. After two draws to begin the rapid chess tie break, Carlsen won the remaining two games to win the match and retain his title. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Planning timeline. November 27, 2014, at the closing ceremony for the 2014 championship, FIDE President Ilyam Zhanov announces the 2016 match will take place in the United States. October 4, 2015, at the 2015 Chess World Cup, Ilyam Zhanov reiterates the location as the United States, saying that the date and place were already final. December 15, 2015, Fidi and Agon sign media rights deal with Norwegian broadcaster NRK, listing seven figures in unknown currency until 2020. January 8, 2016, Fidi announces that Agon has made operational an official broadcasting platform for the World Chess Championship cycle events already present in October 2015. March 1, 2016, Agon announced that the city will be New York City, with approval from its mayor. March 4, 2016, Agon announced that only approved broadcasters will be allowed to retransmit moves from the candidates and ensuing world championship. March 28, 2016, Sergei Karakin wins the candidates tournament 2016 to qualify to play Magnus Carlsen. May 26, 2016, Agon head Ilya Marinzin says that, "...the contract between FIDE and Agon is finalized and is being signed. The contract between the players and FIDE will be finalized in the next two to three weeks." June 7, 2016, Agon announces that a venue has been found in New York City, with only sponsor details and paperwork left to be finalized in the next two weeks. August 8, 2016, Agon announced the venue as the Fulton Market Building in the South Street Seaport in Lower Manhattan. August 30, 2016, Agon publish on their website that Fosagro has signed a strategic partnership contract as a sponsor of the 2016 FIDE World Chess Championship. September 12, 2016, Agon announce EG Capital Advisors as a sponsor, and give pricing packages for virtual reality viewing options. September 30, 2016, tickets go on sale. The lowest price listed is $75 per game. October 17, 2016, Agon announce their new broadcast model for the World Championship. Topic: Candidates Tournament. The Candidates Tournament to determine the challenger was held on 11 to 30 March 2016 in Moscow, Russia, with FIDE's commercial partner Agon as the official organizer, with support from the Russian Chess Federation. The tournament was an eight-player double round robin, with five different qualification paths possible, the loser of the World Chess Championship 2014 match, the top two finishers in the Chess World Cup 2015, the top two finishers in the FIDE Grand Prix 2014-15, next two highest rated players average FIDE rating on the 12 monthly lists from January to December 2015, with at least 30 games played who played in Chess World Cup 2015 or FIDE Grand Prix 2014-15, and one player nominated by Agon the organizers. <laughs> <laughs> Qualified players 
At the time of the event, five of the players were ranked in the top ten on the FIDE rating list. Topic: Standings. Topic: Results by round. Topic: Summary. Going into the final round, Caruana and Karakan were tied for the lead, half a point ahead of Anand, and played each other in the final round. Due to the tie-break situation, the only possible tournament winners were Caruana and Karakan, with the winner of their final game also the winner of the tournament. A draw would cause the tournament result to depend on Anand's game against Svidler, if Anand won then Caruana would win, but otherwise Karakan would win. Karakan had the further advantage of White in the final game. Caruana played for a win in the final round, but overpressed, and at the critical moment, Karakan calculated correctly and won the game and tournament. In retrospect, Karjakan's draw with Black in his other game against Caruana, which Chessbase called a brilliant defensive effort, was critical. Karjakan's victory qualified him as the official challenger. Topic: Championship match. The championship match between Magnus Carlsen and Sergey Karakin was held from 10 to the 30th of November 2016 in New York City, United States, under the auspices of FIDE. Topic: Previous head-to-head -head record. Prior to the match, as of 10 November 2016, Carlsen and Karakin had played each other 21 times at long time controls with Carlsen leading 4 wins to 1 with 16 draws. Their most recent encounter was at the July 2016 Bilbao Chess Masters Double Round Robin Tournament, where Carlsen won one game while the other was drawn. Led up to match After his victory in the Candidates Tournament 2016, Karakin was scheduled to play in the Norway chess event in April with a head-to-head -head game against Carlsen on tap, but cancelled his appearance, citing fatigue from the Candidates' victory. He then surprised Carlsen by agreeing to play in the double round Robin Bilbao tournament in July. The games at the Bilbao tournament were played at a slightly faster initial rate, 40 moves in 90 minutes than that used in the World Chess Championship, 40 moves in 100 minutes. Carlsen defeated Karakin in their first game in the Bilbao tournament, while the second was drawn. He credited the faster time control in making it difficult for Karakin to deal with pressure. Topic Organization and location The match was held under the auspices of FIDE, the World Chess Federation, with the organization rights belonging to Agon, its commercial partner. It took place between 11 to 30 November in the renovated Fulton Market Building, formerly Fulton Fish Market, in the South Street Seaport in New York City, with the two contestants competing for a prize fund of at least 1 million euros, 1.1 million dollars. The chief arbiter was Takis Nikolopoulos from Greece. Topic: <laughs> Match regulations. According to the match regulations put forward by FIDE, the players could not draw a game by agreement before Black's 30th move, but they could claim a draw by threefold repetition. The time control was set at For full time control games, 100 minutes for the first 40 moves, 50 minutes for the next 20 moves, and then 15 minutes for the rest of the game, plus an additional 30 seconds per move starting from move 1. For rapid games, 25 minutes with 10 seconds increment per move 3.7.1a. 
The player with the best score after four games is world champion. If tied, players will play up to five two game blitz matches. For blitz games except the final sudden death game, 5 minutes with 3 seconds increment per move 3.7.2. The player with the best score after any two game blitz match is world champion, if tied, players will play one sudden death game. For the final sudden death game, 5 minutes for white pieces, 4 minutes for black pieces, no increment for the first 60 moves, 3 seconds increment per move starting at the move 61 3.7.3. The winner of this game is world champion, if drawn, black is the winner and world champion. Seconds. Magnus Carlsen's team for the match consisted of Peter Heine Nielsen, main coach, John Ludwig Hammer, regular sparring partner, Simon Agdestein, manager. Additional support was from the analytic team, which included Laurent Fresenet, Nils Grandelius, Jan Gustafsson, and Maxime Vachier Lagrave. Samuel Shanklin took part in some training camps, and Magnus also played training games against Richard Rapport. Sergei Karjakin's team for the match included Vladimir Potkin, Alexander Modelyov, Yuri Dokoyan, Shakriar Mamadyarov, and some undisclosed Russian grandmasters. <laughs> Opening press conference The opening press conference was held on November 10. FIDE President Kherson Ilyamzhanov was unable to attend following sanctions from the U.S. government over his ties with the Syrian regime, but communicated by Skype instead with Vice President Gelfer the official FIDE representative rather than Deputy President Macropolis. Agon's CEO Ilya Marinzin attended, and the two major sponsors e.g. Capital Advisors and Fosagro had representatives, with both players and the chief arbiter rounding out the principals. <laughs> <laughs> Broadcast The video feed on the official website was only available after paying a fee. Live commentary was provided by Agon and Chess24. Prior to the match Agon tried to deny other websites to show moves of the match. Agon went to court over this but lost their case. <laughs> <laughs> Schedule and results The games commenced each day at 1400 local time in New York City. Topic: Regular games. Topic: <laughs> Game one, Carlson Karakin, one half to one half. Carlson opened with one d4, and then chose to play the Trompowski attack one d4 and f6 two bg5, an uncommon opening at the elite level, though one which Carlson has employed before. A temporary pawn sacrifice by White led to mass exchanges and an endgame in which White had the better pawn structure and so slightly better chances. However, Black's position was solid and Karakin defended robustly. After 42 moves the game was drawn, Carlson's opening choice was recalled multiple times in interviews and the post-game press conference, in part due to its uncommon reputation, but also because its name resonated with Donald Trump and the recent United States presidential election three days prior. Carlson said that if he had known how many questions he would face over his opening choice, he would have played something else. Karakin noted the media appeared more surprised about Carlson's opening choice than he himself was, and indicated that perhaps move 27 was Carlson's last chance to make something of the game. 1. d4 and f6 2. b g5 d5 3. e3 c5 4. b x f6 g x f6 5. d x c5 n c6 6. B flat 5 E 6 7. C 4 D X C 4 8. 
NG2BXC59 NGF3 0 0 10 0 0 Na 511 RC1 B712 QC2 BD713 BXD7 QXD714 QC3 QD515 NXC4 NXC416 QXC4 QXC417 RXC4 RFC818 RFC1 RXC419 RXC4 diagram road 820 G3 road 721 KF1 F522 K2 BF623 B3 KF824 H3 H625 NE 1K726 ND3 KD827 F4 H528 A4 road 529 NC5 B630 NA6 B731 NB8 A532 NC6 plus K833 NE 5 BC534 RC3 K735 Road 3 RXD336 KXD3 F637 NC6 plus KD638 ND4 KD539 NB5 KC640 ND4 plus KD641 NB5 plus KD742 ND4 KD six and a half to one half. Topic Game two Karakin Carlson one half to one half. In Game two, Karakin opened with one e four, which he had played in nine of twelve prior encounters with Carlson. Carlsen responded with a Rui Lopez setup, though choosing a classical line rather than the Berlin defense. Karakin then avoided the principal variation with 6 d3. Karakin exchanged central pawns on move 18 C diagram, and Carlsen said afterwards that black was too solid in the center for white to regroup his NC3 to G3. After the game, Carlsen said that in a long match not every game is going to involve fireworks. The game had higher attendance than the opener, with one reason being that many schools used their free tickets on the weekend. 1. E4 E5 2. NF3 NC6 3. B flat 5 A6 4. Ba 4 NF6 5. 0 to 0 B7 6. D3 B5 7. B flat 3 D6 8. A3 0 0 9. NC3 NA 510. BA 2 B611. D4 BXA212. RXA2 RE813. RA1 NC414. RE1 RC815. H3 H616. B3 NB617. B flat 2 BF8. Diagram 18. DXE5 DXE519. A4 C620. QXD8 RCXD821. AXB5 AXB522. NE2 B flat 423. BC3 BXC324. NXC3 NBD725. RA6 RC826. B4 RE627. RB1 C528. RXE6 FXE629. NXB5 CXB430. RXB4 RXC231. ND6 RC1 plus 32. KH2 RC233. Kilogram 1 and a half to 1 half. Topic. Game 3, Carlson Karakin, 1 half 2 1 half. This game saw the Berlin defense, which is quite often seen in the World Championship four times each in 2013 and 2014. Carlson avoided the Berlin endgame by playing 5, re 1. 
A main line was followed until Carlsen retreated his rook only to e2 on move 10, upon which Karakin thought for nearly half an hour. Carlsen followed it up with 11, re1, apparently losing a tempo but having provoked the move 10. b6. At the press conference afterwards he joked that 10, re2 was a fingerfeller which he corrected on the next move. In fact, the idea had been tried the previous year by Grandmaster Rustam Kasimjanov. Karakin accepted slightly weakened pawns, and in contrast to the previous games, decided to aim for counterplay with 29. Raw 8 then 30. Raw 2 rather than sit passively. Carlsen soon won a pawn to emerge with the first real winning chances of the match. After many vicissitudes along the way, Carlsen missed the winning 70, re 8 C diagram. After 70, NC6, Black could reach a theoretical draw by 70. RC3 attacking the knight, which guards White's rook, though some difficult follow-up lines might be needed before a drawn pawnless endgame would definitively be reached. Karakin instead immediately grabbed White's F pawn, 70. KXF5, which would lose against perfect play, but Carlsen granted him another drawing chance two moves later with 72, RB7. This time Karakin found the necessary defense 72. Ra 1. An ensuing liquidation saw Karjakin's past H pawn strong enough to compel Carlsen to acquiesce to a draw after almost seven hours of play. The game was hailed as a miracle escape for Karakin and a showcase of his defensive skills. At the postgame conference, Carlsen said that he never saw a clear win, that it was a little bit disappointing not to have converted, and responded, Absolutely. When asked if he was afraid to find out from the computer how much he had missed. 1. E4 E5 2. Nf3 Nc6 3. B flat 5 Nf6 4. 0 to 0 Nx E4 5. Re 1 Nd6 6. Nx E5 B7 7. Bf1 Nx E5 8. Rx E5 0 0 9. D4 B F6 10. Re 2 B6 11. Re 1 Re 8 12. B F4 R X E 1 13. Q X E 1 Q E 7 14. N C3 B flat 7 15. Q X E 7 B X E 7 16. A4 A6 17. G3 G5 18. B X D6 B X D6 19. B G two B X G two twenty K X G two F five twenty one N D five K F seven twenty two Ne three K F six twenty three N C four B F eight twenty four Re one road eight twenty five F four G X F four twenty six G X F four B five twenty seven A X B five A X B five twenty eight Ne 3 C 6 29. KF 3 Ra 8 30. RG 1 Ra 2 31. B 3 C 5 32. RG 8 KF 7 33. RG 2 C X D 4 34. N X F 5 D 3 35. C X D 3 Ra 1 36. N D 4 B 4 37. RG5 RB138 RF5 plus K839 RB5 RF1 plus 40 K4 RE1 plus 41 KF5 Road 142 RE5 plus KF743 Road 5 RXD344 RXD7 plus K845 Road 5 RH346 Re 5 plus KF 747. Re 2 BG 748. NC 6 RH 5 plus 49. Kilogram 4 RC 550. ND 8 plus Kilogram 651. Ne 6 H 5 plus 52. KF 3 RC 3 plus 53. K 4 BF 654. Re 3 H 455. 
H3RC156. NF8 plus KF757. ND7K658. NB6 Road 159. F5 plus KF760. NC4 Road 4 plus 61. KF3BG562. RE4 Road 3 plus 63. Kilogram 4 RG3 plus 64. KH5 B765. NE5 plus KF666. ING4 plus KF767. RE6 RXH368. NE5 plus Kilogram 769. RXE7 plus KF6 diagram 70. NC6 KXF571. NA5 RH172. RB7 RA173. RB5 plus KF474. RXB4 plus kilogram 375. RG4 plus KF276. NC4 H377. RH4 kilograms 378. RG4 plus KF two and a half to one half. Topic Game four Karakin Carlson one half two one half. Both players repeated the classical Rui Lopez opening from Game two, but this time White went with the main line six re one. After White avoided the Marshall attack with 8, h3, the pace slowed at move 11, with Carlson thinking for 4 minutes before Karakin took 10 minutes on his 12th. The game developed into a sharp middle game when Karakin played 18. Bxh6, but Carlson navigated the complications better, gaining a small advantage. Karakin eventually decided to trade queens and enter an inferior endgame. Carlson was pressing along the way, but Karakin defended stubbornly, and Carlson's 45 f4 made the position easier to defend. The game was drawn after 94 moves. Chessbase opined that, after four games, Karakin still has to find a way to put Carlson under pressure while Carlson has to do the same to win his good positions. 1. e4 e5 2. Nf3 Nc6 3. B flat 5 A6 4. Ba 4 Nf6 5. 0 to 0 B7 6. Re 1 B5 7. B flat 3 0 0 8. H3 B flat 7 9. D3 D6 10. A3 Q D7 11. Nb D2 Rf E8 12. C3 B F8 13. Nf1 H6 14. N3 H2 D5 15. Qf3 Na5 16. Ba2 Dxe4 17. Dxe4 Nc4 first diagram 18. Bxh6 Qc6 19. Bxc4 Bxc4 20. B3 Nxe4 21. Ing3 Nd6 22. Rad 1 Rab 8 23. BC 1 F 6 24. QXC 6 BXC 6 25. Ing 4 RB 5 26. F 3 F 5 27. NF 2 B 7 28. F 4 BH 4 29. FXE 5 BXG 3 30. EXD 6 RXE 1 plus 31. RXE1 CXD632. Road 1 KF733. Road 4 RE534. KF1 Road 535. RXD5 BXD536. BG5 kg 637. H4 KH538. NH3 BF739. B7 BXH440. BXD6 BD841. K2 G542. NF2 kg 643. G4 B flat 644. B5 A545. ND1 second diagram F446. BD4 BC747. 
NF2 B648. KF3 BD5 plus 49. K2 BG250. KD2 KF751. KC2 BD552. KD2 BD853. KC2 K654. KD2 KD755. KC2 KC656. KD2 kilobits 557. KC1 Ka458. KC2 BF759. KC1 BG660. KD2 kilobits 361. KC1 BD362. NH3 Ka263. BC5 B264. NF2 BF365. KC2 BC666. BD4 BD767. BC5 BC768. BD4 B669. BC5 F370. B3 BD771. KC1 BC872. KC2 BD773. KC1 BF474. BXF4 GXF475. KC2 B676. KC1 BC877. KC2 B678. KC1 kilobit 379. KB1 Ka480. KC2 kilobits 581. KD2 KC682. K1 KD583. KF1 K584. Kilogram 1 KF685. Ne 4 plus kilogram 686. KF2 BXG487. ND2 B688. KXF3 KF589. A4 BD5 plus 90. KF2 kg 491. NF1 kg 592. ND2 KF593. K2 kg 494. KF2 1/2 to 1/2. Game 5, Carlson Karakin, 1/2 to 1/2. In this topsy-turvy game, Karakin equalized easily out of the opening a guoco piano and seized the initiative in a complicated middle game. Carlsen managed to neutralize Karjakin's initiative to enter a major piece endgame with opposite colored bishops which he can try endlessly to win without risking a loss, the exact kind of game which he is renowned for winning. However, he played aimlessly before the first time control. After the careless king move 41, kilogram 2? Blocking his major pieces from the soon-to-be-opened h-file he suddenly came under pressure. Like Carlsen in games 3 and 4, Karakin failed to make the most of these chances, and the game ended in a draw, albeit the first in the match in which Karakin had serious winning chances. 1. e4 e5 2. nf3 nc6 3. B C four B C five four zero to zero N F six five D three O O six A four D six seven C three A six eight B four Ba seven nine Re one Na seven ten N B D two Ing six eleven D four C six twelve H three E X D four thirteen C X D four N X E four fourteen BXF7 plus RXF715. NXE4 D516. NC5 H617. RA3 BF518. NE5 NXE519. DXE5 QH420. RF3 BXC521. BXC5 RE822. RF4 QE723. Q D four ref eight twenty four R F three B four twenty five R X F seven Q X F seven twenty six F three B F five twenty seven K H two B six twenty eight Re two Q G six twenty nine 
B3 RF730 RF2 QB131 RB2 QF532 A5 KF833 QC3 K834 RB4 G535 RB2 KD836 RF2 KC837 QD4 QG638 G4 H539 QD2 RG740 Kilogram 3 RG841 Kilogram 2 Diagram HXG442 HXG4 D443 QXD4 BD544 E6 QX E645 Kilogram 3 QE746 RH2 QF747 F4 GXF4 plus 48 QXF4 QE749 RH5 RF850 RH7 RXF451 RXE7 re 4 and a half to one half. Topic Game six Karakin Carlson one half to one half. After three intense struggles, the sixth game was a quiet, relatively short draw. In a main line Rui Lopez, Karakin avoided the martial attack regarded as a drawish line at grandmaster level, playing instead 8, h3. Carlsen played the somewhat similar line 8, b flat 7 9, d3 d5, sacrificing a pawn for positional compensation. Faced with Carlsen's opening preparation, Karakin chose to return the pawn and after further simplifications the draw was agreed. 1. e4 e5 2. nf3 nc6 3. b flat 5 a6 4. ba 4 nf6 5. 0 to 0 b7 6. re1 b5 7. b flat 3 o o 8. h3 b flat 7 9. d3 d5 10. ex d5 nx d5 11. nx e5 nd4 12. NC3 NB413 BF4 NXB314 AXB3 C515 NA4 F616 NF3 F5 diagram 17 NEG5 BXG518 NXG5 H619 NA6 QD520 F3 RFE821 Re5 QD622. C3 RXE623. RXE6 QXE624. CXB4 CXB425. RC1 RC826. RXC8 plus QXC827. QE1 QD728. KH2 A529. QE3 BD530. QB6 BXB331. QXA5 QXD332. QXB4 B6 and a half to one half. Topic. Game 7, Karakin Carlson, one half to one half. After three unsuccessful attempts at gaining an advantage with 1, e4, Karakin played 1, d4 for the first time in the match. Carlsen responded with the Slav defense, which transposed into a tame variation of the Queen's Gambit accepted. Karakin made a slight inaccuracy with 11, nd2, but Carlsen seemingly underestimated his position with 16, rc8 and failed to capitalize. Several forced exchanges later, the game entered an opposite color bishop endgame where white was a pawn up, but could make no progress. 1. d4 d5 2. c4 c6 3. n c3 n f6 4. e3 a6 5. b d3 d x c4 6. b x c4 e6 7. n f3 c5 8. 0 to 0 b5 9 b2 b flat 7 10 
DXC5NC611. ND2BXC512. NDE4NXE413. NXE4B714. B3NB415. BF3016. BA3 RC8 diagram 17. NF6 plus BXF618. BXB7 BXA119. BXB4 BF620. BXF8 QXD121. RXD1 RXF822. BXA6 B423. RC1 G624. RC2 Ra 825. BD 3rd 826. B2 KF 827. KF1 Ra 828. BC4 RC 829. K2 K730. F4 H631. KF3 RC 732. G4 G533. K4 RC 8 and a half to one half. Topic Game Eight Carlson Karakin zero two one Carlson played the coal system, an innocuous opening rarely seen at Grand Master level. He then played recklessly for a win, openly inviting complications. Analysis suggested that the complicated nineteen. QG5 would have been good for Black, however Karakin refused to oblige, playing instead 19 BC6. The position was equal, but Carlsen continued to play for a win. The move 24.BXC4 was criticized by commentators who said that if Carlsen wanted to make this recapture, it should have been done on move 22. Carlsen eventually overpressed with 35, c5, going down two pawns for almost no compensation. In time trouble, Karakin returned the blunder with 37. Qd3. 37. Qa4 was winning, allowing Carlsen to win back both pawns. The resulting position was objectively equal but double-edged in practice, with connected outside passed pawns but an exposed king for Karakin. Once again Carlsen had forced drawing lines at his disposal, but chose to play for a win. Instead, he aired with 51, QE6. And after 51, H5. 52, H4 A2, he resigned. After 53, QXA2 ing 4 plus 54, KH3 QG1, White has to sacrifice the Queen to avoid immediate mate. International Master Sagar Shaw attributed Carlsen's defeat to a loss of objectivity. After the game, Carlsen was visibly uncomfortable and left the press conference before it began, potentially incurring a fine of 5% of his prize money to the organizers Agon, and a further 5% to Fide. Fide released a statement the following day indicating that the penalty would be imposed. The fine was reduced on appeal to 5% of the prize money 2.5% to Agon and 2.5% to Fide. 1. D4 NF6 2. NF3 D5 3. E3 E6 4. B D3 C5 5. B3 B7 6. O O O O seven B flat two B six eight D X C five B X C five nine N B D two B flat seven ten Q E two N B D seven eleven C four D X C four twelve N X C four Q E seven thirteen A three A five fourteen N D four R F D eight fifteen RFD1 RAC816 RAC1 NF817 QE1 ING618 BF1 ING419 NB5 first diagram BC620 A4 BD521 BD4 BXC422 RXC4 BXD423 RDXD4 RXC424 BXC4 NF625 
QD2RB826. G3NA527. BG2H628. F4 Ned 729. Na 7QA330. NC6 RF831. H3NC532. KH2NXA433. Road 8G634. QD4 kg 735. C5RXD836. NXD8 NXC537. QD6 QD338. NXE6 plus FXE639. QE7 plus kg 840. QXF6A441. E4 QD742. QXG6 plus QG743. QE8 plus QF844. QC6 QD845. F5A346. FXE6 kg 747. E7 QXE748. QXB6 ND3 second diagram 49. QA5 QC550. QA6 NA551. QE6 H552. H4A2021. Topic Game 9, Karakin Carlson, 1 half 2 1 half. Carlson opened with the Archangels variation of the Spanish game, a variation he had played only four times in his career. The game followed a line which Karakin had used to beat Adams until move 18, at which point Carlson deviated by playing 18. C5, Carlson remained within his opening preparation until at least move 22, taking less than a minute to play the novelty 21. .CXB3. The game developed into a pawn-up middlegame for White that offered White a long-term advantage, but Karakin declined to sit on his one-point lead and instead went for the win. The game became very tense with Carlson consuming a lot of time. He played 38. Nay 7 with less than 2 minutes on his clock, against Karjakin's 25 minutes. Karakin invested most of the 25 minutes before making the bishop sacrifice 39, bxf7+, when 39, qb3 was also very strong and possibly even winning. In spite of his time situation, Carlsen defended accurately. In the resulting endgame white was still a pawn up, but the extra pawn was doubled. Karakin kept playing, but could make no progress, and the game was drawn after 74 moves. 1. E4 E5 2. Nf3 Nc6 3. B flat 5 A6 4. Ba 4 Nf6 5. 0 to 0 B5 6. B flat 3 B C5 7. A4 R B8 8. C3 D6 9. D4 B flat 6 10. AXB5 AXB5 11. Na 3 0 0 1 2. NXB5 BG4 13. BC2 EXD4 14. NBXD4 NXD4 15. CXD4 BXF3 16. GXF3 NH5 17. KH1 QF6 18. B3 C5 19. E5 Q E6 20. E X D6 C4 21. B3 C X B3 22. B X B3 Q X D6 23. Ra 6 R F D8 24. R G1 Q D7 25. R G4 N F6 26. R H4 Q B5 27. Ra 1 G6 28. R B1 Q D7 29. Q D3 N D5 30. R G1 B C7 31. B G5 Re8 32. Q C4 R B5 33. Q C2 Ra8 34. B C4 R B A5 35. B D2 Ra4 36. 
QD3 RA137. RXA1 RXA1 plus 38. Kilogram 2 Ne 7 Diagram 39. BXF7 plus KXF740. QC4 plus kilogram 741. D5NF542. BC3 plus KF843. BXA1NXH4 plus 44. QXH4 QXD545. QF6 plus QF746. QD4 K847. QE4 plus QE748. QD5 BD849. KF1 QF750. QE4 plus QE751. B5 QE652. Kilogram 2 B753. QA8 plus KF754. QH8 H555. QG7 plus K856. BF4 QF757. QH8 plus QF858. QD4 QF559. QC4 KD760. BD2 QE661. QA4 plus QC662. QA7 plus QC763. QA2 QD664. B3 QE665. QA7 plus K866. BC5 BD867. H3 QD568. B3 B769. QB8 plus KF770. QH8 QE671. BF4 QF672. QB8 QE673. QB7 kg 874. QB5 BF6 and a half to one half. Topic Game Ten Carlson Karakin one to zero. Game Ten was a Rui Lopez anti Berlin. In keeping with his game plan, Karakin tried to remain as solid as possible. A critical moment arose after Carlsen's 20, ND2, which allowed Black to force a draw or a favorable endgame see diagram. Karakin said in the press conference that he thought Carlsen could meet 20 NXF2 plus with 21, kg 1, and miss 21 NH3 plus 22, kilogram 2 NGF4 plus 23. GXF4 NXF4 plus 24, RXF4 QXF4. And black can never lose. Carlson, however, Wesley so thought white still had an edge after either 24, QXF4 or 24. .xf4, reminiscent of games 3 and 4, the game evolved into one in which Carlsen could constantly press, while Karakin defended. Carlsen steadily improved the position of his pieces, but had no breakthrough until Karakin played the inaccurate 56 rhh7, which allowed Carlsen to play the break 57, b5, at a favorable time. Karakin tried to actively seek counterplay, but Carlsen fended him off and simplified into a winning endgame, earning Karjakin's resignation. 1. E4 E5 2. Nf3 Nc6 3. B5 5 Nf6 4. D3 Bc5 5, 5. C3 0 0 6. Bg5 H6 7. Bh4 B7 8. 0 to 0 d 6 9 nb d 2 nh 5 10 bx e 7 qx e 7 11 nc 4 nf 4 12 nay 3 qf 6 13 g 3 nh 3 plus 14 kh 1 nay 7 15 bc 4 c 6 16 b flat 3 ing 6 17 q e 2 a 5 18 a four B six nineteen B X E six F X E six twenty N D two first diagram D five twenty one Q H five ing five twenty two H four N F three twenty three 
NXF3 QXF3 plus 24. QXF3 RXF3 25. Kilogram 2 RF7 26. RFE1 H5 27. NF1 KF8 28. ND2 K7 29. RE2 KD6 30. NF3 RAF 8 31. ING5 RE7 32. Ray 1 RFE 833. NF3 NH 834. D4 EXD 435. NXD 4 G636. RE3 NF 737. E5 plus KD 738. RF3 NH 639. RF6 RG740. B4 AXB 441. CXB4 ING842. RF3 NH643. A5NF544. NB3KC745. NC5 kilobits 846. RB1KA747. Road 3RC748. Roth 3 nd 449 Road 1NF550. KH3 NH651. F3 RF752. Road 4 NF553. Road 2 RH754. RB3 RE755. RDD3 RH856. RB1 second diagram RHH757. B5 CX B558. RX B5 D459. RB6 RC760. NXE6 RC361. NF4 RHC762. ND5 RXD363. NXC7 kilobits 864. NB5 KC865. RXG6 RXF366. Kilogram 2 RB367. ND6 plus NXD668. RXD6 RE369. E6 KC770. RXD4 RXE671. Road 5 RH672. KF3 kilobits 873. KF4 KA774. Kilogram 5 RH875. KF6 1 0. Topic Game 11. Karakin Carlson 1 half 2 1 half. In his last game with the white pieces at standard time controls, Karakin opened with 1 e4, and the game developed into the seventh Rui Lopez of the match. Carlson chose a variation which has given White free pressure. Svidler in the past, but Karakin failed to make the most of his theoretical edge. Instead it was Carlsen who was playing for the win, with the pawn sacrifice 18 c3 19.bxc3 d5. This led to a passed pawn for Black that advanced all the way to the second rank, but with his own king exposed, Black could not make progress and fend off a threatened perpetual check at the same time, resulting in a draw. 1. e4 e5 2. nf3 nc6 3. b flat 5 a6 4. ba 4 nf6 5. 0 to 0 b7 6. d3 b5 7. b flat 3 d6 8. a3 0 0 9. nc3 b6 10. nd5 nd4 11. nxd4 exd4 12. NXF6 plus BXF613. BXE6 FXE614. F4C515. QG4 QD716. F5 Ray817. BD2C418. H3C3 Diagram 19. BXC3 D520. BG5 BXG521. QXG5 DXE422. FXE6 RXF1 plus 23. RXF1 QXE624. 
CXD4E325. RE1H626. QH5E227. QF3A528. C3QA229. QC6 RE630. QC8 plus KH731. C4QD232. QXE6 QXE1 plus 33. KH2 QF234. QE4 plus 1 half to 1 half. Topic. Game 12, Carlson Karakin, 1 half to 1 half. Game 12 ended in a very short draw, the shortest of the match under standard time controls. Carlson signaled his willingness to accept a quick draw by playing one of the most solid variations against the Berlin defence. Karakin did not disagree, and after mass exchanges the game was drawn in 30 moves, the earliest allowed by the rules of the match, and after only 35 minutes of play for comparison several of the earlier games in the match took over six hours to conclude. In the post-game interview, Carlsen seemed keen on enjoying Wednesday's challenge of quicker tie-breaking games. Agon director Ilya Marinzin said during the press conference that fans holding tickets for round 12 would get into the tiebreak for free. This game holds the dubious distinction of being the fastest game to finish in World Championship history, quicker even than various forfeits that have occurred as they require one hour to elapse before the player forfeits. One. E4 E5 2. NF3 NC6 3. B flat 5 NF6 4. 0 to 0 NXE4 5. Re1 ND6 6. six. NXE5 B7 7. seven. BF1 NXE5 8. RXE5 0 0 9. D4 BF6 10. Re1 Re8 11. BF4 RXE1 12. QXE1 NE8 13. C3D5 14. BD3G6 15. NA3C6 16. NC2 ING7 17. QD2 BF5 18. BXF5 NXF5 19. NE3 NXE3 20. QXE3 QE7 21. QXE7 BXE722. RE1 BF823. KF1 F624. G4 KF725. H3 RE826. RXE8 KXE827. K2 KD728. KD3 K629. A4 A630. F three B seven diagram one half to one half. Topic Tie break games. The player named first played the white pieces. Topic Game thirteen Karakin Carlson one half to one half. The first tie-break game was level throughout, with neither player gaining a significant advantage. 1. E4 E5 2. NF3 NC6 3. B flat 5 A6 4. Ba 4 NF6 5. 0 to 0 B7 6. D3 B5 7. B flat 3 D6 8. A3 0 0 9. NC3 NB810. Ne2 C511. Ing3 NC612. C3 RB813. H3 A514. A4 B415. Re1 B616. BC4 H617. B3 QC818. QE2 Road 819. BXE6 FXE620. D4 BXC321. BXC3 CXD422. CXD4 EXD423. NXD4 NXD424. BXD4 RB425. 
REC 1QD 726. BC 3RXA 427. BXA 5RXA 128. RXA 1 RA 829. BC 3RXA 1 plus 30. BXA 1 QC 631. KH 2 KF 732. B flat 2 QC 533. F 4 B D 834. E5 DXE535. BXE5 B flat 636. QD1 QD537. QXD5 NXD5 and a half to one half. Topic Game 14. Carlson Karakin, one half to one half. This game started with the Italian opening instead of the more common Rui Lopez. After a series of exchanges at moves 35–37 Karakin found himself with a rook and pawn against Carlsen's two bishops. While materially equal in value, the open nature of the position gave the bishops great scope, and Carlsen had all the winning chances. By move 40, Karakin had just 59 seconds remaining, whereas Carlsen still had four minutes. Carlsen failed to find the winning approach to the endgame, and in spite of his time situation, Karakin managed to set up a wrong rook pawn position where his king could not be dislodged from h8 per hour 7 per grams 8. He then exchanged his rook for one of the bishops ensuring the draw. Udit Polgar called Karjakin's defensive skills, finding the required moves with only seconds on the clock, unbelievable. 1. E4 E5 2. Nf3 Nc6 3. Bc4 Bc5 4. 0 to 0 Nf6 5. D3 0 0 6. A4 A6 7. C3 D6 8. Re one ba seven nine H three ne seven ten D four ing six eleven N B D two C six twelve B F one A five thirteen D X E five D X E five fourteen Q C two B six fifteen N C four Q C seven sixteen B four A X B four seventeen C X B four B five eighteen Ne 3 BXA 419. RXA 4 BXE 320. BXE 3 RXA 421. QXA 4 NXE 422. RC 1 BD 523. B5 CX B524. QXE 4 QXC 125. QXD 5 QC 726. QXB5 RB827. QD5 Road 828. QB3 RB829. QA2 H630. QD5 QE731. QE4 QF632. G3 RC833. BD3 QC634. QF5 RE835. B4 QE 636. QH5 NE 737. QXE5 QXE5 38. NXE5 ING 639. BXG6 RXE5 40. BD3 F641. Kilogram 2 KH842. KF3 543. BG6 RA 544. K4 RB545. H4 RE5 plus 46. KD4 RA547. KC4 RE548. BD4 RA549. BC5 kg850. KD5 RB551. KD6 RA552. B3 RE553. BF4 RA554. BD3 RA755. K6 RB756. KF5 Road 757. BC2 RB758. Kilogram 6 RB259. BF5 RXF260. B6 
B6 plus KH861. BD6 Re262. BG4 Re863. BF5 kg 864. BC2 Re365. B flat 1 KH866. KF7 RB367. B4 Re368. BF5 RC369. G4 RC670. BF8 RC7 plus 71. Kg 6 kg 872. B flat 4 RB773. BD6 KH874. BF8 kg 875. BA3 KH876. B6 RB677. KF7 RB7 plus 78. B7 H579. GX H5 F580. BXF5 RXE7 plus 81. KXE7 kg 882. BD3 KH883. KF8 G584. HXG6 and a half to one half. The final position is a draw by stalemate. Topic Game 15. Karakin Carlson 0-2-1. Carlson Black followed the same strategy he had used in the previous game: get ahead on the clock, then sacrifice a pawn. 30. E4, for active play. His pressure on Karjakin's position eventually bore fruit. On move 38, with less than 20 seconds left and in a slightly worse position, Karakin blundered with 38, RxC7, allowing the winning 38. Ra 1, which skewered the white queen and bishop, this gave Carlsen a 2 2 1 lead with one rapid game to play. 1. E4 E5 2. NF3 NC63. B flat 5 A64. BA4 NF65. 0 to 0 B76. D3 B57. B flat 3 D68. A3 0 0 9. NC3 NA510. BA2 B611. B4 NC612. ND5 ND413. Ing 5 BXD514. EXD5 ND715. Ne 4 F516. ND2 F417. C3 NF518. Ne 4 QE819. B flat 3 QG620. F3 BH421. A4 NF622. QE2 A523. AXB5 AXB424. BD2 BXC325. BXC3 NA326. RFC1 RXA127. RXA1 QE828. BC4 KH829. NXF6 BXF630. RA3 E431. DXE4 BXC332. RXC3 QE533. RC1 RA834. H3 H635. KH2 QD436. QE1 QB237. BF1 RA238. RXC7? RA1 O1. Game 16, Carlson Karakin 1 0. Karakin, as black, was forced to take risks, because he needed to win the game. He played the Sicilian defense, the only appearance of that opening in the match. Carlson played calmly with a weakness free position while Karakin desperately attempted to create chances. This did not work, and Carlson soon gained an advantage. Karakin might still have managed to hold a draw, but since he had to win he left himself open to a winning attack. Carlsen finished the game with the queen sacrifice 50, qh6+, which leads to mate on the following move. 1. e4 c5 2. 
NF3D63. D4CXD44. NXD4NF65. F3E56. NB3B77. C4A58. B3A49. NC10010. NC3QA511. QD2 NA612. B2 NC513. 0-0 BD714. RB1 RFC815. B4 AXB316. AXB3 QD817. ND3 NA618. NB4 BC619. RFD1 H520. BF1 H421. QF second 722. G3 Ra 323. BH3 RCA 824. NC2 R3A 625. NB4 Ra 526. NC2 B627. Road 2 QC 728. RBD1 BF 829. GXH4 NF 430. BXF4 EXF 431. BXD7 QXD732. NB4 RA333. NXC6 QXC634. NB5 RXB335. ND4 QXC436. NXB3 QXB337. QE2 B738. Kilogram 2 QE639. H5 RA340. Road 3 RA 241. R3D2 RA 342. Road 3 RA 743. Road 5 RC 744. QD2 QF 645. RF5 QH 446. RC1 RA 747. QXF4 RA 2 plus 48. KH1 QF 249. RC8 plus KH750. QH6 plus. 1 to 0. Topic. Aftermath. Annotating for Chessbase, David Navarra wrote that Carlsen deserved the title, as he has been the number one player in the world for many years, but also that Karakin deserved credit for successfully showing that it was possible to compete on even terms with Carlsen. Karakin said in the postmatch conference that he had played well below his capabilities in the tiebreaks and was unable to make use of his preparation. Nonetheless, he indicated that he will accept his invitation to the next candidate's tournament to fight for another match for the title. In the immediate future, however, he will concentrate on his personal life his son having taken his first steps during the match, which he had neglected for the duration of the match, the manner in which the match ended, the world classical chess champion title being decided in a rapid playoff, earn some criticism from Yasser Sarawan and former world champion Anatoly Karpov as inappropriate, considering that there is also a world rapid chess champion title. Speaking on the format during the postmatch conference, Carlsen reiterated his preference for a different format for the title, probably a knockout format he had proposed in 2015, while Karakin indicated he was happy with the match format. Because of the even score in the classical portion of the match, Carlsen lost 13 rating points in the December 2016 FIDE ratings list, while Karakin gained 13 points. Carlsen remained the top player in the world, 17 points ahead of Fabiano Caruana, while Karakin rose to sixth. Carlsen and Karakin played their next classical game at the 2017 Tata Steel Tournament, and the game was drawn. The next decisive classical game was at Norway Chess 2017, with Carlsen winning. <laughs>